to your usual day job, but for many, a last resort. While in some cases the traditional beggar trade is an honest day's work, it's often riddled with hardships. Our reporter Gillian Pillay and cameraman Tabo Madilola took to the streets of Johannesburg to see how the trade has evolved over the years. You'll spot them at many intersections. For some motorists, the impromptu entertainment a welcomed relief, but for others, it's more of an annoyance. A different form of hustling. A talent that's come in handy. One they're putting to good use. With few choices, it's a means for survival. We are doing this dancing for our families because circumstances are not the same. We use the money to buy clothes and the money we make is between 1,000 and 2,000 rand. I don't think their talent is displayed properly yeah, they need to be in a theatre or something. Maybe on South Africa's Got Talent. It's part of hustling, but banalo of Swata traffic sometimes, you know. A little distance away, the plush suburb of Santon. A draw card for these disadvantaged teenagers from neighbouring Alexandra. It is one plagued by high levels of poverty and unemployment. Fatuani Ramaligela is a familiar presence here. In 2011, he lost his job due to alcoholism. Ramaligela resorted to these antics to get motorists to throw him a lifeline. Since people back home know I'm HIV positive, they no longer treat me the same. That's how I ended up on the streets. Here, no one judges me. It's not always colorful performances that greet motorists. With stage Mpofu and her blind husband Ignatius are economic migrants from Zimbabwe. On average, they pocket a measly 80 rand a day. For the couple, this is a more lucrative alternative than returning home. To Zim I can go, but there is no disability grant for this man. And I'm the one who's going to look after him. And there is no job there. Each has its own tale of desperation. So next time you pull up at an intersection, Spare a thought for those needing a helping hand. There is more to this story than meets the eye. Julian <laughs> Pillay, SABC News, Johannesburg.